coal miner's daughter, I think everybody I talk to about my decision on that tells me the same thing, that everybody, and they, in the business, they refer to it as everybody's gone with the wind because evidently the original director of Gone with the Wind quit because he didn't think it was going to work out or whatever. In my case, uh, I was asked by Universal to do the picture. And the script was okay, but it, you know, it was sort of a well-written television uh, show. And this was going to be a feature. And they casually mentioned something about Sissy Spacek being interested. And I said, no way. There's no way this, this girl could play this strong-faced Indian princess of Ro uh, Loretta Lynn. I guess she's, she's too much of an icon. Everybody knows what she looks like. How are you going to get Sissy Spacek, who's blonde and almost looks like an albino for all intents and purposes. Well, those are words that I've eaten ever since because I not only uh, was a, somewhat appalled that they were even thinking about her, I insisted on testing other actresses and they said, okay, if you find somebody better, fine. So I tested maybe a week's worth of actresses it's somewhere in the vicinity of maybe 30, 40 actresses. Finally settling on a couple of candidates and being very excited about how absolutely right they were. And then I was told in a special little meeting that Sissy Spacek was already signed to do the role, which didn't sit very well with, with my sensibilities. And I felt betrayed. I felt that they were playing with me and toying me. And here I was, you know, one of their, their uh, supposedly one of their fair-haired boys. And I was always treated with great respect and given all kinds of wonderful uh, advantages and opportunities. And suddenly I felt that the studio that I had called home for so many years threw some mud in my face. And so I said, that's it. Find yourself another director because I don't think Sissy Spacek can play this role. Well, no one has ever eaten words quite as thoroughly as I did since because she was brilliant. She wore a black wig, which of course it didn't occur to me that she could do that. <laughs> After all, if you're a blonde, you stay a blonde, right? <laughs> she, uh, she sang all of Loretta's songs, like Loretta. And the only good thing that came out of that whole experience for me was that I got to spend a long weekend with Loretta on tour with her show and got to feel and the smell of what it's like for a country singer to go on, uh, on, on a... Uh, on a bus journey through some of the key cities and, and venues of the South and, uh, and, the, and the West too. And it was a wonderful experience. Uh, and it was just too bad that, you know, I was, I was too hurt, I guess, and too wounded to think clearly. And of course, when the picture came out, I called Michael Apted and congratulated him on a brilliant directorial job, something I, couldn't even conceive of achieving when I, when I was embroiled in all of the rewriting and all of the things. And uh, the rest is history. She was right on. Michael did a beautiful job. Uh, Bobby, what was his, uh, uh, Jones. Bobby. Oh, Tommy Lee Jones. Tom, Tommy Lee, rather. Tommy Lee was, was brilliant. And, uh, and the show was award-winning uh, material. So that's my Gone with the Wind story.